It has been such a pleasure to work with both of them, with Joan and with Tom. Working with Joan uh, has, been, has been an amazing experience. It's been phenomenal. Joan is so inspiring um, with her career and all the things that she's accomplished and that. The amazing place that you've helped put together here, the amazing community you've helped build, and. She's definitely a role model for scientists. Joan is the guru of hydrogen. Um, I had heard your name before I even came to UC Davis. You know, the global expert in hydrogen, and she really has been kind of a defining uh, force here at ITS Davis for many, many years. Most accomplished hydrogen fuel researcher in the world. A woman who has made a real strong uh, name for herself. I just admire her and... Uh, uh, I'm not sure who else uh, has, is going to mention this, but she's a great musician. Best guitar playing director we've ever had at UC Davis. She's a wonderful uh, performer. You have to go see her live. And, and and boy, was he right. Does amazing things like she just went to India for her daughter's wedding and... Maybe it was a Christmas ago, uh, Joan, in, uh, with her daughter, was visiting uh, in the farmer's market. And uh, I love you that they were wearing the same shirt. It was just so cute. If you're ever going to go to Davis, then, then Joan Ogden is the person you need to meet. Working with Tom now for, um, I think, almost 12 years. I remember when I first met you and thinking, why is there an anthropologist who studies EVs? Um, and then about five minutes into your first talk, uh, I was a complete convert and realized. Tom has done such extraordinary things. Um, to create a world-leading center for electric vehicles. Um, he's been devoted. Uh, tremendous influence on uh, electrification over the years. Paved the way for the adoption of the, of the California-styled zero emission vehicle mandate policy in China. And um, it's going to be really hard to imagine uh, the PHD e Center without him. Uh, working with Tom was always uh, fun. He's always fun. And I was super grateful that he uh, took a chance on a a random British guy. Seriously, he has the charm, the brilliance. I guess he's pretty adventurous, um, sometimes not very cautious. <laughs> Always a little bit dangerous. As far as I can tell, anybody who goes rock climbing with Tom comes back worse for wear. I, I do not ski or rock climb. Great with Tom, with Tom mixing a, a walk with fun. And I am uh, the one that holds down the fort when he steals our staff away yeah. to go on their um, adventures. He recently had shoulder surgery and uh, Pat, his wife, wasn't super happy about him going skiing so um, of course she told him not to fall over. He, he only fell over once and I think he fell on his good shoulder so um, that was fortunate. <laughs> Fingers crossed that nobody comes back injured. What's a word to describe somebody who... For Joan I'd say uh, she's a deep thinker ridiculously smart ultimate collaborator brilliant super easygoing gregarious Tom I would call an iconoclast visionary engaging committed I think collaborative I don't want to say goodbye to Joan I don't want her to leave us completely I but, want her to stick around but I know she has a lot of things she wants to do and I respect that and I just wish her all the best and goodbye from responsibility and, uh, Tom, visit uh, all the places you plan on visit, all the walls need to be climbed. Uh, it seems like he's already been on many adventures and he's, he's got a lot more planned, so uh, yeah, I wish him all the best. And don't forget to uh, stop uh, by Davis and tell us all about it. Um, and uh, I am going to miss working with both of them.